everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at Universal Orlando. And today we're gonna talk about dining because dining has gotten pretty popular here at some of these sit down restaurants and some things have changed. So if you're planning your next trip, let's see what you gotta do to eat here at Universal Orlando. All right, so I'm standing here on the city walk. We're looking at the brand new Universal Studios store. And as I was just saying, dining has gotten pretty popular here at Universal to the point where if you wanna sit down to eat, you're gonna have to make dining reservations. That used to not be the case here. You could just walk out here onto the city walk after being at the theme parks all day and walk right into somewhere to eat um, or even eat inside the theme parks or any of the hotels at their res um, sit down restaurants and not have reservations. Not the case anymore. So I'm gonna show you right now how to make reservations for some of these places like a Vivo Italian Kitchen and the Cowfish Sushi Bar over here. Big Fire Grill and Margaritaville over here, to some Chocolate Emporium, and even the, the restaurants inside the parks. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm on the homepage for the Universal um, Orlando website, and here's how you're gonna go to find dining reservations. You're gonna go up here to the three dots, and you're gonna go to Things to Do. And then you're gonna click on Dining up here. And then it's gonna load like all the different restaurants here. Um, and you can add filters up here. So like if you um, wanna be like in a certain theme park, you could click here and you can uncheck. So like if I only wanted to look at Universal Studios, I could uncheck Islands and Volcano Bay. I could uncheck then the resort hotels um, and the city walk. Okay, and then it would only give me what's available inside the studio. So that might be an easier way. And if you've never been before, that might be an easier way to kind of look through these. A lot of these are the quick service though. So let's say I want to know what only is sit down. Then I'm gonna come over here to dining types. And then I'm gonna click on full service. Okay, and then it only gives me Finnegan's and Lombard's because that's the only two um, sit-down restaurants inside Universal Studios Park. So now how do I make a reservation? So click the plus sign. So let's just use Finnegan's as an example. And then you're going to come over here to this word details. And their website is kind of clunky as far as being able to make food reservations. As I said, food reservations have just become popular. Um, before you could just usually walk into places. So... Um, it this website it's kind of I've noticed the dining is different for each restaurant and you just kind of have to look at it so looking here at Finnegan's I don't believe they do um, reservations it doesn't really look like they do um, but you could call the number to see but a lot of them that do then it would have like a online reservation so let's go look for another one I'm gonna just click back here on dining and I'm gonna expand my search to be everything again um, so we can just use some different options. But I am gonna just click over here on full service. Whoops, not mobile order. Full service, there we go. So that you can see what's sit down restaurants. So the ones that are really popular and hard to get reservations are gonna be these ones at the top. These are on City Walk. So the Toothsum, the Big Fire Grill, and the Cowfish. And we were just looking at these buildings right here on the City Walk um, right before I showed you this. So let's say I wanna go to Toothsum. So I'm gonna again check the plus sign, click details. And then here when it loads, you're just going to scroll down here to see where it says reservations. And you can call the number or do online. I just find it easier to do online than calling the phone number. Um, so we'll let it load. And then you're going to find your date. So like right now it's set on June the 6th and nothing else is coming up. So that tells me there's nothing available. So like if I click on the 7th. Now it will let me pick guests. So if it won't let you pick guests, there's nothing to pick. So I'm just going to pick two for now. And look at the time though. 11.15 and 11.30. This is at night for dinner. That's a bit late for me to eat dinner. So I'm going to come back here to the date. And scroll forward. So let's say um, if today is June 5th, let's try 10 days out. June 15th. And two guests. And now I have, these are lunch options, you can see, because it's a.m. And then noon, one, whoop, scroll forward. And then there's nothing after one. And this is for 10 days from now until 1030 at night. So I would highly suggest the minute that you book your trip, 
um, start getting your dining ideas together. And again, this is a new concept for Universal. You never really had to, you know, think of dining before with Universal. You always have to with Disney, but not really with Universal. Let's see how far out this goes, this calendar. It looks like it goes, let's see. I'm into July now and scrolling forward. August. September. I wonder if it's six months or what it is. October. November, December. So it looks like it's about six months out is how far you can make things. So just keep that in mind for um, booking your trip. But each one of these web restaurants, I just click the back button to go back to the Universal main page. And then I'm back at um, the Toothsome. And again, if I want to see more restaurants, I just click back one more time up at the top. I'm just hitting the back arrow up here. Sorry if it's a little blurry. There, that back arrow there. Um... And then I can scroll back through and find some more places to eat. So um, again, using these filters up at the top will help you. But let's look at Islands of Adventure. This is Mythos Restaurant, which is inside Islands of Adventure, and it's very popular. I think they do dining reservations. So let's click details. Here we are. And here it is, reserve online. And let's see what this looks like when it loads here. So nothing for today june 6th it's allowing me to pick guests they only have one reservation at 8 15 at night um so again the further out that you can book the better um so like i said if you have a trip planned within six months then i would really try to get on here and get your dining reservations squared away um, Okay, the current policy for quick service dining is that you get in line, like all of these people right now are in line to eat inside of the Springfield restaurant here in the Simpsons area at Universal Studios. And they really highly, highly, highly encourage you to mobile order on the Universal app. So having the Universal app ahead of time on your phone is good for a lot of things. Number one, it's really awesome for knowing all the wait times for the rides. That's how you'll get a virtual queue time if you're gonna do things like Hagrid. Um, and then you can also like attach your credit card and everything to it so you can mobile order food. You can also get it just by clicking, uh, taking a picture of the QR code with your camera and then it will prompt you to set it up this way if you don't already have the app before you come. So you mobile order your food uh, for all of the different quick service restaurants they have mobile order and then you're standing in line here basically to get a table and they seat you and then um, when you're at the table you will tell them that you're here and ready to have your food made and they'll bring the food to you. So I kind of like the way quick service is going nowadays because it used to be that you had to stand in line to order food, pay for food, then find your own seat, sit down. So the way they're doing it now, it's nice because it's almost like um, a little bit of waiting on you. You really are only standing in line to get your table and then they let you in. And the other great thing about that is if you're coming you know, with your party, it used to be that somebody would sit there and hold the table while everybody else grabbed what they were trying to eat and whatever. Well, now you don't have to worry about grabbing the table. That's the point of standing in line is they'll find a table for you when they have one available. So right now is peak lunchtime, and that's why that line was so long. So I highly suggest trying to eat your quick service meals at off times. If you can, you know, have a late breakfast at your hotel then maybe you're not gonna have lunch till around three um you know then that helps or trying if you're gonna get up really early in the morning then trying to eat an early lunch like right away at 11 or 11 30. um because right now it's about 12 30 12 45 so it is pretty big all right we're now going to talk about the most popular places to dine in all of universal which are the two harry potter restaurants this is the leaky cauldron we are on the diagon alley side in universal studios there's Green God's Bank and the Dragon. And on the other side, um, in Hogsmeade, they have the Three Broomsticks restaurant. So a lot of people right now, again, are in line for the Leaky Cauldron. It is another mobile order restaurant. And I'm gonna show you right now on the app how to mobile order exactly as well. Um, but these restaurants are extremely popular. They get very, very busy. These restaurants, both of them here at Leaky Cauldron and at the Three Broomsticks do offer breakfast as well because the two sides of Harry Potter World open early when the parks open for early park admission. So whichever park is open, Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure, those Harry Potter areas are always open early and people want to go there for breakfast. Um, however, keep in mind that they do also sell Harry Potter vacation packages 
and at times breakfast will be unavailable to regular guests who don't have the package. So it's just kind of like you just have to show up and see if you have the package and you're going to have a reserved dining experience for breakfast. But if you don't have the Harry Potter package and you want to try to eat breakfast at one of these restaurants, Leaky Cauldron or Three Room Sticks, just come with a backup plan in case they tell you it's full. Okay, just a heads up. I have found that if I do it first when I get into those areas, I can get right in. But if I try to go and do rides first and then try to eat here, it's hard. All right, so I'm on the Universal app on my phone. And again, if you don't have this Universal app, I highly suggest getting it because it tells you everything you're going to need to know. Like if I click here on rides, I can see all of the wait times. I can see them in a map form or I can click over here at the top and then get them in wait time form. This is how I will again do virtual line queue. If Hagrid's ever has a virtual line, it will say it here and this is where I would click to get it um, if it did happen. So right now we're talking about mobile order and on my app I'm going to click on dining. Although sometimes I notice when I'm in the park, instead of it saying dining, it will say order food. So that's helpful. But if I'm on dining, um, sometimes I... I uh, cancel out the casual and the fine dining if I just want to find those quick service locations and then um, go up here to make them into a list and then I can scroll through to see where I want to eat. They're not really in any order like I wish they would kind of do them by Islands of Adventure, um, Universal Studios. I think that would be more helpful. They're kind of mixed and matched. Um, so but let's just click on one. Let's see. So if I click on like the Captain America Diner and then um, right down here where it says mobile order food and drink. And then I can click on whatever I want to eat. So here's a bacon cheeseburger combo. Now keep in mind the combos come with fries and a shake. So if you just want to get fries, like if you don't want an ice cream shake to drink, then you want to get this option. And they'll do that for every single one of their entrees I noticed at a lot of places. So you just kind of got to read carefully as you go. But basically I can just click on whatever menu item I want. Um, and then I can add it if I want to have two, if two people want the same thing or three, you can up the order. Um, and then you can choose what side you want, fries or onion rings. And then I did click the one with a shake. So I'd have to choose all of these items. So let's say I choose fries. I choose a chocolate shake. Then I can click add to order. And, uh, and then right now it's telling me that I have to be on property because I'm not on property right now. But if I was, then it would prompt me to pay and everything. I do have a credit card tied to my app. And I highly suggest that you do the same with yours. It just makes it so much easier. And if you're doing it for the first time at the um, restaurant, you can click on the QR code at the restaurant. And that'll prompt you how to add your credit card, how to pay, how to do everything. But this is the best convenient way um, to eat at quick service at the parks. Hello everyone, I hope this dining video gave you some great tips for your next trip here to Universal Orlando. You're definitely going to want to make those dining reservations a couple months out as we saw on their app how busy it is. And think about that mobile order system and how you're going to use that for your quick service dining as well um, for your next trip. If you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video, which is usually once a week. Thanks for watching.